Hi guys, Benjamin and Faye here with Love Solar Systems, looking to take a few moments of our time to chat with you about pressure tuning in our telescopes. Perhaps the biggest question, the number one question we have over email, by phone, and in person is how to properly tune a telescope, whether you're an amateur, a beginner, or even experienced. Sure. So uh, we have our LUT 80 millimeter MT right here. Uh, we have it set up kind of more or less of how you would see it on a mount in your own personal use, but for this purpose, we're actually going to go ahead and use our adjustable rings and get this into a position so you guys can see the PT knob a little bit better and see exactly what we're talking about here in this breakdown. All right, guys, now that we have our 80 millimeter telescope in position, we'll start with the first things first. And ideally, this is what you want to do as soon as you receive your telescope. And maybe even every time you view is reset your pressure to knob. It may be in a different position. It may be received at very low or very high. But first things first, take your knob and turn counterclockwise. Just keep in mind that this is a very important initial first step, again, uh, when receiving your scope or even if you've had it in storage for a while, because this is going to help reset it uh, to your elevation and your conditions and give you the best view possible. Uh, so Ben has actually unthreaded the knob to the point of resetting, taking it off there. Now the system has been vented. Uh, so from there, he's going to go ahead and thread that on down. And this is a point of contention for people. Uh, what I would suggest and what we suggest officially is if you're having trouble with detailing, finding detail rather, go ahead and take your pressure tune knob and dial it all the way down. That is completely past the visible threads towards the red cell of this 80 in this case, but towards the body of your OTA. Now, it is very far down, probably farther than you expect it to be, but this is what we consider to be the very end of your travel. And this is where we'd like you to start. It's a good reference. Okay, so now we've successfully reset our pressure tuner and we're ready to start using the scope. But there's another step here and that's reaching initial focus. And that involves adjusting your blocking filter and your focuser itself. Uh, very carefully while holding your blocking filter, unsecure your thumb screws and pull your blocking filter a good one or two inches away from the focuser, carefully resecuring. This gives you the appropriate distance you'll need to find focus while tuning. And from here, you can get right into it. You'll be seeing surface and edge detail, and with the flexibility of the pressure tuner, you'll be able to tune uh, to and from those details. And overall, you're gonna be in a real nice place to get some good solar viewing done. But remember, keep it slow. Since we're at the very end of our travel, we're at the point where the pressure is the most. Take very, very small, even turns as you go through your travel until you find your proper on back position. Yeah, so this is our summary of how best to pressure tune your scope and get the best tuning out of it. But if you ever have questions for us, give us a call here at the office or reach us via email. We're happy to help you. And for all you people out there with double stacks, we have something coming for you. Don't worry. Yes.